Hey guys, so before I start this video, I just want to say that if anyone is going to visit this place, then please be very careful because it is covered in security. There's fences around, there's black paint everywhere in every entrance to get in, and the floor itself inside is very unsafe, guys. The ceiling is very unsafe, and at any given moment, any part of the building could just completely give way. So if you are going, please, please be very careful. Also, I'd like to say that my videos, for some reason, some of them aren't working. Um, I've I've recorded a lot of footage, but some of them have gone corrupt for some reason. I also took two memory cards with me on the day, and one of them worked all the way up there, and then as soon as I got there, it stopped working, so I don't know why. I'm definitely going to go back up there and get much better video footage for you guys, but the place is just, the place is just insane. It's huge, so to look around there, guys, I just, I didn't have enough time to see everything. I hope you enjoy, guys. If you see anything in this video that I might have missed, anything that, you know, find spooky or anything like that, or any voices or anything let me know in the comment section below so here's some history on the place guys I'm not gonna read it all to you it will be in the description but here is some history on the place but today we visited Talgarth mental asylum construction of the asylum begun in 1900 and this is marked by the stone above the front of the entrance although it was officially opened until 1903 Talgarth site was chosen out of the town of the near foothill of the black mountains the Victorian nation in 1900s was that the mentally insane should be kept out of sight and out of mind and away from the general public as to not corrupt society. Rural locations were perfect for this idea along with a belief that the fresh country air was good for health. The hospital was originally built to carry 352 patients. The hospital is, had its own water work treatment plant, its own sewerage system, its own 155 acres farm and 88 acres of Mark Arden to supply the hospital with vegetables, fruits, crops and meat and where patients deemed well enough could work to earn their key, as well as having workshop where patients could make items or carry out repairs on the hospital fittings or make items that could be sold for profit could be returned to the hospital for unkeep. The hospital has its own church chapel, a kitchen, a tailor, a bakery, a shoemaker and a cobbler, laundry rooms and printing press shops. After the First World War, the population of patients grew rapidly due to the mental issue and trauma that the soldiers suffered when returning home from the war. In 1925, the hospital was recorded to hold 455 due to the shell shock effect suffering in the war. Around the time the hospital re was renamed as Midwell's country's mental hospital. During the outbreak of the Second World War, the Cardiff City Mental Hospital was turned into a military hospital to care for the wounded, so the Midway's hospital took in extra 155 mental patients from Cardiff. However, by 1942, due to the hospital's excellent reputation, the government decided that the Midway's hospital should be turned into a military hospital to care for the injured soldiers during the war. Current patients were shipped off to the mental asylums further afield to make way for soldiers. Wards East 7 and 8 were added as well as an x-ray department. During the time of the part of the hospital was turned into a prisoner of war camp hospital to treat captured Nazi soldiers while ensuring that they were still in prison. The hospital returned back to the catering for mentally ill in 1947 under the final name of the Midwells Hospital and now under the control of the NHS. Lobotomies were introduced at this time which saw part of the brain purposely damaged by crack and open the skull and serving killing nerves. This was said to be widespread at the hospital. By 1955 the number of patients were recorded at peak of 496. By the 1900s the hospital was at peak employment levels. Nearly one of four residents of Talgarth worked at the hospital. This was at a time where they were said to be more staff than patients working at the hospital. The situation became become unsustainable and by the 1990s mental health attitude had shifted so that the patients were thought to be better off living within the community as they do today. In 1994 the number of patients was recorded as only 140. The hospital was eventually closed in 1999. Guys that is just a little bit of history of the actual place. I will upload the whole document down below in the description and you can go over and have a look yourself and, and read up about it yourself. The history of the place is very unsettling just to know what they used to do back then to the mentally insane. It was old people, it was babies, it was newborn babies and visiting this place you know you could feel the anger in the walls, you could feel you know the history that went on there and how saddening this place is. So I'll see you all in the next video. I hope you enjoy guys. Peace.
nooses, please. Look at the old light switch. This way, come follow me. Let's go. Try to we'll just try and get as much done as we can. I got it. Special mathematics. I remember this from the video. I think that's the sports centre. I'm getting over there. <laughs> yeah, I know. Make sure you remember the way out now. Oh, that's a corridor for you, ma'am. Mum, is that the bar? Is it? Is that picture still there the other side? There must have been a staff bar for all the staff. We get through the other one. Would have been stairs below.
Well, see, he's lost. Jeff! Oh, my God. No. A Ouija board. Oh my God, I keep feeling drafts. What's that noise? Hey, Jeff. This was the room that they done the investigation in. It's wood. Apparently there's no Ouija board in here. Apparently there's no Ouija board. I have to find a way back. Yeah, well... It's fine. Walk back first way. Look at this old door. No, we're going to go first way, walk to the middle and then walk back around. Hopefully the door will not This is just insane. This hole. Look at the spotlights. The curtains. I know. Your curtains, man. Head just sitting here. Look at that. There's a face in there. Broken oh, rock. <laughs> What's it say? There's something on the door. So it says something on the door. Look. Oh, shh, shh, shh. Say, oh. All right, all right, make sure time for that. We're going to be about 10 minutes. We'll be on the Dan, show me the torch. Show me the torch. Private. I've lost focus. There you go. That mirror. Must have been um, maybe one of the 
head head people's out big areas. Yeah. What? Is it? Bathrooms everywhere, isn't it? Come on, we're we going up this way, man. Look. Look at that old window up there as well. I know I got a really horrible feeling around here as well. I don't feel sick, I just feel really weird. Fancy running into no lip tab, lip, lip barra, the Mori stuff. The Baltimore stuff, I mean. Yeah, no. Ma'am, what you fought then? Well, that hose is um, an actual hose. I'll um, don't go any further down there. You are? It's a feeling. Yeah, no. I felt right horrible in there. You felt like torture. Stay there. What was that? Yeah. What the hell was that? Sound like a woman screaming. 
that generally sounded like a woman screaming. Why is it so black, don't it? I, I, I can't go down there, it feels horrible. Is it recording, girl? Yeah. No, it's just insulation. Yeah, definitely. You can fucking see that. Hundred percent, without that fucking doubt. Yeah, that is pretty shitty as it goes. Ask my dad to see if he's out. Medicine cupboards or? Man, this is the. Come here. Look, remember I showed you on YouTube? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's just all the floors come come down, Dan. And it's just a carpet with like three chairs on it. Speaking to me about. Yeah, we won't be long. We'll be here. I'll wait back to you again. How long are we going to be? We literally we go one little bit of building and we go in. We can go one more bit of Yeah, there's two, uh, thing. There's nothing up there, the floor's just gone through. Mum, go in this one and get a look. I could hear someone crying. Yeah, that's definitely a ward. Do you like to love? 
We're gonna have to stay here, guys. We won't go to the right. These are the boats. What do you think? Wow. <laughs> the old light up. The curtains are still up there. Huh? This place is insane. It's massive. It just goes on and on and on and on. Every building you think you've seen, you've just seen another one. Yeah, something like that. Uh, this building is completely gone through. Yeah, it's completely, it's completely through in there. It's a bone, man. Yeah, no, it's a bone. So you're checking my. Because I'm hungry. Right, we'll go. Walk, start walking back now anyway. So we'll go back to where we're now, it's right. Calculus part one. Oh yeah, there's tons more to see. We haven't seen half of the buildings over there. It's just too big, man. It's, it's huge. Right, do we have... Oh, wow. It's an old hospital bed. No, I don't know if it is. I think it's an old oh, it looks like an hospital bed, doesn't it? What do you say, Dan? Mom. Mom. Come on. Mom. Listen. There's banging in that building. There's banging in the building. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? There's banging in the building. Can't get there. Smoke coming in front of my. You can't get. And that, guys, was Talgarth Mental Asylum. Beautiful place. Very eerie, very creepy, but you could spend hours here. It's just too big. 
all that's abandoned as well. We haven't gone in there, but all that is all abandoned as well. All that, everything. I'm not going to go in because we have to go. We've been here too long, and just in case, but I'm just going to take you up to here just to show you.